I'm Patrick from MakerBot Support. I'm here to show you how to replace your bar mount assembly in your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. For this process, you'll need a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, a pair of scissors or clippers, and a small flathead screwdriver. Before you begin, do the following. Unload any filament, turn off the Replicator 2, remove the filament guide tube and spool holder, unplug power and USB cables. Gently pull the active cooling duct away from the nozzle Allow the duct to hang. Using your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, unscrew the two bolts holding the extruder to the carriage. Carefully clip the zip tie on the back, then gently pull the cable free of the clips. Set the extruder down next to your bot. Use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to loosen the two bolts at the lower corners of the front extruder fan. Remove the bolts, fan guard, fan, spacers, and heat sink as one piece and set them to the side. Disconnect the white connector in the fan wire, unplug the motor cable connector, and set the motor assembly aside. Remove the top bolt from the active cooling fan, and then rotate the active cooling fan to the side. Look at the thermal core, then follow the white wires from the cartridge heater to the black connector next to the active cooling fan. Unplug the connector by pressing the black plastic tab on the side. Using your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, remove the bar mount from the active cooling assembly. These bolts can be difficult to get loose, so you may want to use your fingers. Snip the zip tie at the top of the extruder cap, being careful not to cut any of the wires inside. Turn the replicator 2 on its left side, then remove the panel on the underside with the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. The thermocouple is the copper colored wire that attaches here. Using the small flathead screwdriver, Loosen the screws holding the thermocouple to the terminals on the Mighty Board. Attach the thermocouple from your new bar mount assembly by tightening the screws on the terminal. Give a little tug to make sure that you have it seated properly. Clip the zip tie holding the extruder wrap to the base of the replicator too. Remove the old thermocouple and replace it in the wrap with the new one. Reattach the extruder wrap to the base of the replicator too with a new zip tie. Put the bottom panel back on your bot. You can now remove your old bar mount assembly by pulling the thermocouple out of the extruder wrap and setting your old bar mount aside. Replace the new thermocouple in the extruder wrap by leading the wire through with your thumb. Orient the bar mount assembly so the two holes on the left line up with the two holes on the active cooling fan mount and the nozzle points down. At this point, you'll have two very similar pairs of bolts set aside. Screw the two shorter bolts in using your fingers, then tighten them using your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Connect the new heater cartridge wires. Push the black cartridge heater wire connector and the slack on the heater wires into the active cooling fan mount. Make sure the white fan wire connector from the front extruder fan is also pushed into this space. While ensuring that the wires stay in their designated slot, rotate the active cooling fan back to its original position. Reattach the active cooling fan by replacing the top bolt. Reattach the white fan connector. Replace the fan assembly, then the motor assembly, and use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to tighten the fan assembly bolts into the motor. Reconnect the motor wiring harness and zip tie the wrapped extruder cable to the extruder. Position the zip tie as close as possible to the extruder cap and tie it as tightly as you can. Set the replicator 2 back in its correct position. Seat the extruder back on its extruder carriage. Secure it with the two remaining bolts. Snap the active cooling duct back into place and gently push the cable all the way into each of the clips, replacing the zip tie at the top. That's how you replace the bar mount assembly in your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. If you have any other questions or issues, please send an email to support at makerbot.com. Thanks!